three, two, one. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. Hello, my little friends. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute since I've done the little song and dance for you. I haven't been in the mood. You know, there's a lot of self-nourishment going on, working on my mental health, taking time off for myself and only doing these videos for you guys has helped me really, really, really refresh my mind, body, soul. So today we are going to be doing a try on haul. So here's like one thing that's like wrong with me lately. I can't make up my mind about what I wanna do, what I wanna wear, how I wanna do it. I always like need advice of other people. So today, since we know what happened to my nose, um, I'm gonna try three different techniques how to contour my nose and I want you guys to comment down below whether you guys like the first, second, third. And then I have to do outfit post so I can't decide which like outfit I like and how which top I like with the bottom. So I want you guys to help me with that too, whether it's gonna be one, two, three, or four, or maybe five, I don't know. I'm having trouble figuring out whether I like certain tops with the bottom, so I thought it would be cool for you guys to join me in helping me pick out an outfit and also helping me pick out how I should be snatching my nose. Before we begin, I wanna give a shout out to Pretty Little Things for sponsoring for this video. It is a try on haul. Also, you guys should be subscribed to Pretty Little Thing YouTube channel. If you guys didn't know, I am on it. I am very good friends with the owner and we have done so many podcasts. They have a very interesting YouTube channel. So if you are already not subscribed to their YouTube channel, the link is down below. Go and hit the subscribe button. I want you guys to stop concentrating on the product, okay? We are going to have Nose Contouring 101. You are my student and the teacher, okay? Have a seat. Take your pen and paper out, or pencil and paper, whatever, or your keypad, you get the point. So basically, I'm going to show you technique. It doesn't matter what brand you're using for this, it matters the technique you're applying, whether we're doing straight lines, swivelly lines, round lines, thick lines, thin lines, you get the point. So I want you guys to concentrate more on that versus what brand something is. I promise you half the looks I do, you guys could be achieving at home with whatever you have, as long as it's like similar and you guys are understanding the ingredients of how one reacts to another. Sometimes the branding really doesn't matter, especially for contouring. As long as you stick with the same consistency as I'm sticking to right now, you will have similar results. And again, pick your own colors. Don't let me dictate what your color is. So. Let's begin. I am going to begin with my nose. We are playing Christopher Columbus today and we are exploring my nostrils, the bridge of my nose, and so on and so forth. And you are too. You're going to learn a lot about your nose today. Get up close and personal with it. Might as well. I have one mirror over here and I like to have another mirror in my face like this. That way I get to see what it looks like up close and far away. Get what I mean? For the first technique, I'm gonna keep wiping it off until I like stick to one and which is like my old technique. Some people have given me some advice, um, different ways to do it, which is cool, but I feel like I'm a creature of habit sometimes. We're gonna give these a shot and try to see if we can slim down our nose more than we have before. So the first thing I'm going to do is it doesn't matter what it is. Again, this is kind of like, um, it's like a short shader brush. I'm sure you guys all have a brush like this. So we are gonna pick up on a cream. I wouldn't say too much of a gooey cream, but just a cream. I am with the short shader brush, gonna make a line like so. Another line like that. And we are just going to go up like that, cut off. I don't know what this is called, there's a name for it. And then we are going to do that. Now with this one, I actually saw this technique in a Kevin Aquan book as well. So you know how we do the two lines on the side? They actually bring these lines down 
saying that you're casting a shadow. Get what I mean? Instead of, you know how I brighten over here? Again, I'm exploring. This is not my nose contouring technique. And it goes up into this area. Kind of get where it's going. It just needs to be cleaner. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer remix. Rudolph the Brown Nose Reindeer. Over here, they make a line. You see like your nostril flare to make your nostril flare stand out. I actually like the nostril flare standing out because I feel like a lot of the time I always diffuse this part and everyone will ask me in pictures with flash where my nostril went. Lara Mercier ate it up with the concealer. That's what happened. So I get enhancing that. This is gonna be a lot of application and removing. Now we are gonna go in with the white cream with a pencil brush. And now you know how I make the tree of life? This is strictly a straight line. If you want that like straight Roman nose, I can see where this is going. I usually put concealer over here, like right there, I would cut that off. Can you guys see where this is going? Cause I can like see the shadowing. Oh, oh, I forgot. You're supposed to highlight that. You're supposed to highlight that. I feel like I wanna clean up this. I don't care. What do you guys think about this nose contour? So I tried it out. I can already tell this is maybe for somebody with a wider nose than me. I think that my problem is it is fractured down here and it's like going slanted. So I'm gonna try another look. Now, if you feel like you have a wider nose, more flared out, nostrils or if your nostrils are not even this contour style what i just showed you is amazing and also please stop yelling i already i can hear your energy my eyes if you guys want to learn how to do it click on that link right there and if you want to learn before i teach you in this video how to just cover up the contour click on this video but um, I'm gonna try two more nose techniques. This is, again, I think it's more suitable for someone with a wider nose, maybe somebody with nostrils that are not even. My nostrils are even. Um, I'm looking for something with more correction down here, and I feel like I'm looking at it right now in the screen, and it's not as slimming as my regular contour that I do. Again, I think this is an amazing way to contour your nose for someone that has a longer and wider nose than me. Give this a try and see if you like it. So guess what? I'm gonna have a lot of irritation all over my skin from wiping the shit off and redoing it for you guys. This is why I didn't want to do contouring for different shapes. I'm gonna have rashes all over myself. I'm just using a makeup wipe. We are going to remove it. Oh, great, it's gonna be red. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer What are you guys doing for Christmas? Keep a lookout for my Christmas 40, Harusha's favorite favorite Harusha's favorite 40 items Gifting ideas One thing about when you use a makeup wipe If you're gonna reapply makeup make sure you tap it out with a towel because the residue gets left on and also I don't want to put the contour on a red nose, so I'm just gonna grab a little of our CMA. Like literally was dabbed right there. Let's do the second version of our nostril contours and our nose contours. I'm not going to be using this brush. I am going to use just a flat, tiny concealer brush. I'm sure you guys have it. And this one, we are going to begin, begin with a cream concealer. Grabbing on a clean pencil brush, I'm going to put on the cream concealer. We are going to do one line not like a straight line how the other one was. We're going to make three separate lines. Get it? So over here, we're gonna do like a three. Over here. Now these lines are not connecting. As you can see, there's a skip right here. You guys see that? And then down here, I am going to make upside down triangle. I feel like this contour is going to be great for the natural girl, the one that doesn't want a lot going on. 
One of my friends that, that is a makeup artist, they use this technique. Now they don't use a dark, dark color. They use a very, mm, like a cooler brown. So what you're going to do is going to make a line starting from kind of like diagonal to the beginning of your brow. Now what you're going to do is pull it into your shadow and then bring it down in your brow. So we're pulling it into the shadow and then bringing it down. And then just right there, you're creating a V. You see what I'm doing over here? You're making that little tip stand out. This is for people that have bulbous noses at the tip. You guys see that? It'll make your uh, nose look more tilted, like from the side. You cut the tip like that. I get it, but I feel like I can already tell what it's gonna do to my nose. It does look way more natural, but I think this is for people that wish to flip up their nose a little bit more and my nose is already like that. I like a Roman looking nose, like longer, not flipped up. And I don't like that button thing that it's doing, but if you like that button, like people that put highlighter there to make it like shimmer a little bit more, it'll give you that effect. I don't wanna do this for you guys to see it and see how it like goes into my eyeshadow right there. See, the reason why I don't pull my own contour into my eyeshadow is because I have a short nose and when I bring it up here, it makes my nose look longer. And I feel like when I cut it off like this, it makes my nose look shorter. And my goal is to always make my nose look longer, but I do like the color toning using a lighter color. Like, obviously it's not a light color. You know exactly what I mean. Like we would pick a darker color to contour with. Um, and I do recommend this for anyone that has a long nose, like an oblong nose. You guys get what I mean? But again, let's get to terrorizing my skin. My nose is gonna be so f***ed up after this. Now, let's get back. You know, sometimes when they say, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I have a need of trying out new things all the time. And since my recent accident with my nose, I just thought that maybe there's a different way of contouring. And if, hey, if you guys know it, please comment down below and I will definitely check it out. I'm right now in a weird phase of obsessing over nose contouring. So I read um, the Kevin Aquan books and I basically like added a bunch of stuff. So the techniques that I showed you, even though it's like two nose contours, it's a bunch of techniques put together to give you that. So one was if you have wider nose. The second one was if you have a long nose. So the third one is going to be if you have a nose similar to me. Now, if you notice, it's just puffy over here. So if you guys can tell what I'm talking about, you guys can see the shadowing on this and over here it's missing. It used to be there, now it's not. It looks like an indent right there. You guys see what I'm saying? And then my nose looks like it goes like that way now. I'm going to begin with a concealer brush. And honestly, like for me, this technique, it doesn't matter what brush you use, whatever you use, as long as you just copy like the shape of it, it's fine. I start off from pulling it into my eyebrow. I look like the olden days. So then I make another line and I bring it down. You guys see that? Now I'm gonna make sure that goes into my eyebrow because in my opinion, it calms my eyebrow down. And also it gives it something like where it's belonging. I will blend it down a tiny bit, but not too much. You guys see that? Look at the side of it. I blend it down very lightly, not as aggressive as the first time. Now I'll blend this side the same way. Now I go in closer. You guys see that? I just go a tiny bit on the bottom because again, remember, I want to make my nose look longer. The more I chop off, the shorter it will appear. I take my 
True and Blue Concealer, NARS Creamy Concealer, and I'm going to make the little tree of life, make that line as narrow as possible. You just go down to the tip of it. That's what I prefer. See how my nose looks longer and you can't see what I was talking about there anymore? What do you guys think? Did you guys like the first contour, the second, or the third on me? If you guys wanna make it shorter, the second one. If you guys want to make it very schlup, the first one. And now we will begin to put foundation on it. But before I do the foundation, I'm going to do the contouring. If you guys want a detailed version of how I do my contour, click on this video and you shall receive. I'm just going to quickly do this so I can get to the try on part, so I can take my pictures. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a three-step tutorial, how I did with this with the lips, like different lip shapes. It's just hard to do it on me. Probably have to use a model because I have like a certain shape I stick to. I need like different like face shapes. If you wanna contour your jawline, you're gonna bring it in up if you want that like chiseled appearance and down down over here okay so here up that like angelina jolie chiseled look look at the difference contour really is that bitch also this gorgeous top i have on is from pretty little things you guys always ask me like what shirt i'm wearing i'm one of those people i feel like if i wear it once especially for camera I can't wear it again, so like fast fashion brands for me to wear the tops on camera is so easy. Around the lip, then I dipped into a dark color. Fill in the lip. Here's a really cool trick. I always love filling in the lip. See the difference? I just rounded the lip here, like around it, and then over here I filled the lip. Look at the huge difference. This and that. I love contouring my lips. I feel like it doesn't matter how big my lips are. Everyone always thinks I do it to make it bigger. I truly love the way they come out in photos. My lips always look so prominent in photos because I contour them. And then again, drag it in. So the reason why you're dragging is, you know that your real lip line? You're covering it up. And then I always do this. I swear I'm Angelina Jolie. Picking up on a concealer, like a cream concealer, a light one. I am gonna go just right there. And anywhere you want to lighten, just put the light on. Like anywhere you have shadows, that's what highlight is. It pops it out. And I'm using a cream base first before I go in with my regular concealer. Okay, so now we are kind of color correcting. I don't know if you can tell the tone of it. It's a cream, but it's like pink, pink, like lightest shade of pink. You know what? This shit is light, so why not go down? Contouring and highlighting is not always like evenly doing it. It's like looking at your face and seeing what is misproportioned and matching it with light and shade. So I'm gonna, I always do this around my nose. Now, I'm gonna go in with Honey, just because I really like the tone of it. Using, again, a concealer brush, just the flat synthetic one, going over this whole area. So we put on a cream, and now we're going over it with a liquid. And if you really want your cat eye to meow for you, make sure you go in. Who remembers that one commercial? Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. This area, I usually like to stand out. So honey is a darker tone. See how I put the lighter tone underneath and then the darker tone? I'm just making it look human. But in photos, the, I promise you that lighter tone always comes out. Like anytime I do anyone's makeup, I always tell them like, go take photos with flash. You'll definitely tell the difference when you take flash. If you like use my techniques and you use flash on your face, you can tell the difference a lot. Cause all these squiggles and miggles we're doing on the face, it all makes a huge difference. 
I'm gonna go under. Right over there. Just like that. Just like that. I will take a synthetic brush and pack that bitch in. See, I'm not swiping, I'm just packing. Because if you swipe, you know when your um, makeup separates? I see some people going like that with their concealer. If you have a cream concealer on, be my guest. If you put on a liquid, you're f***ed if you do that. It just separates. Now I'm going to take a small synthetic brush and get into the hard to reach areas. Like in your nose holes, don't forget that. Now we are going to do the foundation. I'm gonna use Too Faced Born This Way and Natural Beige and mix it up with Warm Sand. Not mix it up, sorry, I put it separately and I'll show you what I do with it. Grabbing the lighter color, I place it where the highlight would go. I'm a very complicated person with foundations. Still putting it on a little bit of the concealer, just on the cheek, not like super in there. Do you guys see that? Now picking up on another brush, coming in with a synthetic, we're going in with warm sand, and I'm using a little bit, and I'm packing it on like that. We are making a bunch of color variations right now. I will go in a circular motion. With the residue of this, I will go under here. We're gonna blend that out. Now, at Cosmetics, the back of the brush, I'm going to mix those two colors together and I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand. The nose has set now, so what I'll do is I'm just, you guys see how I just covered it up a little bit? That little, eyeshadow brush, but that's synthetic. I'm just going to do downward strokes with the concealer. See how like much better my nose looks now? What do you guys think? I'm gonna put a little darker on the cheeks. You guys were all waiting for when I was like, gonna grab a beauty blender, weren't you? I will go in with the beauty blender now. I'm not bouncing and moving it around. I'm bouncing in the same space, just making it creaseless. And then I'll turn it around on the cheeks. I just wanna remove anything that does not belong. I feel like it gives it a more seamless blend. I'm just gonna go in. Like you see these dark spots, just going to press it in, just directly on them. See that? Now, we are going to put on Harusha's special mix. If you guys don't know what that is, click on the video. You guys are missing out. That's how I customize my own powders. And I'm not gonna bake, bake like crazy with this. I'm just gonna go down to pinch my nose. Now translucent powder in lights it diffuses crazy and your skin just ends up looking like silk and as you guys can see i'm barely like i put that much on my hand and i like tap it out and i put a very little amount on i don't slam it all over my face and then with the residue i'll go over the contour now for around z nose i'm just gonna take a flat concealer brush and I am going to bring the bacon around it. You guys see that? So, this part. Lately, thanks to the masks, I don't know what the f*** is happening here. So I like to set it over here too. And I like to like let it catch as much as possible. And then I'll wipe it off in a second. You have to decide whether you want it matte white or if you want it shimmery, you can't have both because it's an oxymoron. So if you set it and put shimmer on top of it, it's making your shimmer muddy and not have that je ne sais quoi, like that shine, that gleam, you're holding the bitch back. But if you want it to be matte, you can do a bake down the center of it. So today I'm gonna do a bake halfway and halfway a little bit shimmer so I can show you guys 
what it is. So I'm gonna take that brush. Now you can do this with a wedge sponge too. And you're lightly setting, setting, setting the center of the nose. Now I take the pencil brush and I go in between where the contour would be and I separate. I am going to grab, again, you know your girl does Z palettes, your Hula Light, very lightly. I am going to go into that contour. Using the Makeup Forever, again, you guys know my situation. This is the Artist Face Color in H106 Highlighter. I am going to make that Cupid brush stand out. Also, inner corners. Now, what do you guys think would happen if I just dragged this color down the bake? It would become very muddy. I see a lot of people doing this. You have to wipe it off before you put it in. So now, guess what? Maybe somebody will buy this for you for Christmas. We're going in with the bronzer everyone talks shit about. I don't care what anybody says. My life is not complete without it. It just the difference. So it's a blusher from Serge Luton's, but I use it for everything. Now, let's get rid of this. You're gonna have to use a synthetic brush for this to get the best result. And we are going to push inwards for the bake to fall onto where we did the hula light. I personally don't mind the bake going into my eyebrows. I think it like calms it down. And then I'm going to just like buff it in there. Now the center, buff it out. Push it up first. I'm gonna go around my lips too because I feel like I didn't get everything. Now, just to sharpen this up, I'm just gonna go a little bit, just a little. Now, we are going to the blush. I'm gonna use Cheek to Chic Ch Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of my favorites. Smile. I always like to put a little bit everywhere on my face to make it all kind of match. Now, if you want, that down the bridge, down the bridge, down the bridge highlight. I'm only gonna put it there and a straight line across like that. And then I'm gonna take my finger and do that just to tone it down. Let me know if you guys think my nose contour technique looks natural. You guys can totally come at me. I'm gonna go on my inner corner too with this. And if you guys think you guys have a better version of it, and if so, just copy paste to whatever it is you think looks good and put it in the comments down below and I promise you I'll be clicking on it. I'm gonna go in with a synthetic brush and just kind of lightly buff that out. I don't wanna keep it on for too long. Taking a MAC, I think it's NC25 and just like an eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to clean up right here. I'm gonna drag that down only where it's necessary and then up the eye. Don't go too low with this. And anywhere you still see a dark spot or you want to pop out in a picture, go over with this. Your laugh line around here. I'm gonna go under my eye with Hula Dark and just make it look bigger. Sorry, Hula Caramel. And I like going like this. I know if it doesn't, if it makes sense to you. Around my nose, it's like, I feel like a coke head. So when you go like this, you'll know exactly when to stop that last crease. When you make under here like brownie or like orangey brownie, it makes your eyes look smoldery and your creases don't show. For each person that space varies. Now we are gonna go in with the lip. I'm gonna go in with the Carly Bible lip liner called Bible. And I am just intensifying that line and then bringing it in. I'm gonna go in with my Revlon lipstick, the one I don't shut the f up about. At least I know one thing. This is like my true and blue. You can always count on a good nude. So now, in the center of that, I'm gonna put Kendall and Kylie, just a little bit. And then, and then. Dominique Cosmetics. This is from Latte. I've used it, like, look at how empty it is. It's literally, like, gone. This is, you know, how I like something. It tastes so good. Just in the center. I'm going to use Youngblood Sherbert. It's like a peachy highlight situation. 
it's gonna start on my cheekbone. You guys see that? You can leave it matte if you want or do this. This is not like a highlight highlight. Again, it looks like a blush and just like a very beautiful sheen. What do you guys think about the makeup and the nose contour? Did you guys maybe think like a different contour would have looked nicer? Or do you think that the nose did pretty well with the contour that I chose? You don't have to agree with me. If you don't or you do, comment down below. And we are about to go try on a couple options. So we're not done picking. Pick my nose first and then let's get to picking the outfits. I feel like a superwoman in this, I don't know. But I have another pant with this. I'm gonna throw on the pant and tell me which outfit you guys like better. Now, this is the other pant. What do you guys think about this one? It is sexy in suggestive ways. If you look at the immaculate sleeves, honey, they cut off right here. Which one was your favorite? One, two, three, four-ish? Or would you switch up the top and the bottom for another one? Let me know. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Love you guys so, so much, and happy holidays. Mwah.